Hello and welcome to another tutorial video on Autodesk Maya 2016. In this video we are going to look at keyframe animation and um, how to basically animate an object that we've created in Maya. So um, this is an object that I've already created, just a sphere, just a NURB sphere. And I've uh, animated it on the timeline here and I'm just going to press play so you can see what it does. So it's just like a bouncing ball um, that kind of changes shape as it lands on the ground and um, changes location as well. So this animation is just on a loop and it's only going across about 48 frames, um, but that's what we're going to achieve in this video. So to start with, I'm going to create a new scene. Uh, I'll save that one. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to um, grab a NURB sphere and just pop it there on the screen. Okay, so I've got a NURB sphere here. So first thing that I'll do is I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to change the um, position on the Y axis of this shape. So I'm going to grab that yellow handle, the Y handle there, and just drag it up. And you can see here on the channel box, you can see that the Y value is increasing there. So I've got all that information there about um, this shape. I'm just going to hold down Option and Command and click to drag just to pan. Drag it up a bit higher. Now, the Y position is at 3.976. I might just click in that box, type in 4 and hit Enter. And I'm going to set that to 4 because this um, sphere, we'll just call it a ball, this ball is going to fall down. It's going to hit the ground and kind of stretch out as it hits the ground. And it's going to bounce back up and we want it to be in this same position again. Okay, so um, down here at the bottom here of the screen, we have the timeline or the time slider. And so to set a keyframe on the timeline, I need to press S on the keyboard. So now we have a little red line here on the first frame. So we have a keyframe. So you can click and drag or just select different points on the timeline to go to a specific frame. Um, and then you can change the shape at that frame. So we're on frame one and we've got a little red line there for a keyframe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump to frame 24 and I'm going to use the move tool to move this shape down to the bottom there. And I'm going to use the scale tool. Uh, I'm going to make the shape a little bit bigger, but I'm also going to drag it down on the Y handle to kind of flatten it out a little bit, just like that. Okay, you can press the space bar to go to a different view. So I might just go to the front view, um, select that front view and press space again. And now I need to go to the move tool again and just drag it down on the Y axis so that it's actually pretty much on this line here, which is uh, kind of like the ground. So it's hitting the ground. Okay, press space bar again. I'll go back to perspective view, press space and now I'm on frame 24 and this is what I want it to look like on frame 24. So I'm going to press S to make a keyframe on frame 24, but just made a little mistake. Need to get the select tool, select the object and then press S. Okay. So this uh, shape now has um, on frame 24 now have a keyframe there. Okay. So we can drag it backwards and forwards between frame one and frame 24. And you can see now that that object has moved, um, it's changed location, and it's also kind of um, stretching out as it hits the ground. But you'll notice it actually stretches out before it hits the ground, which is, we don't really want that. We want it to stretch once it's hit the ground. So what I might do is I might press space and go into front view, press space again. And we'll just drag the uh, timeline backwards and forwards and see how it's already stretching out before it hits the ground. So what we can do, is just before it hits the ground on probably around about frame 16, we can grab the scale tool and we can just uh, stretch out this object again. So on that Y axis, the yellow handle there, we'll just stretch it out so it's a proper sphere and press S to make a keyframe there on frame 16. And now we'll drag it backwards and forwards and you can see that that's improved a lot. So between one 
between frames 1 to 16. It hasn't changed in size at all really. And then once it gets to about frame 20, 19 or 20, where it's actually touching the ground or that line, then it starts to change shape and stretches out. So that looks a little bit more realistic than what it looked like a minute ago. So it's not really changing shape until it actually hits the ground. Okay, so there we go. We've got one, the frames one to 24. Now what we need to do is, um, we might just go back to perspective view again, press space, select perspective view and press space again. And we might jump ahead to around about frame 48. Okay, now we've also got this slider down here as well to um, select, we can either zoom in on the timeline or we can zoom out and see more frames there. And we can also move along large distances of the timeline there really quickly. So that slider is quite handy when you're working um, on the timeline. Okay, so we might just zoom out just so we've got frames one to 48 there. Okay, select frame 48. We'll grab the uh, move tool, select the object, and we could either drag it back up to its original position, or we could just go over to the channel box here and change the um, translate Y value to four, because that's the position that it was originally in. Okay, then we can grab the scale tool and we can just, oops, just undo that. Okay, so selected frame 48. Might just press S to make a keyframe here now and then grab the scale tool and change that um, using the uh, Y handle there, Y axis handle, the yellow handle. We'll just change that back to look like a proper sphere. Okay, so press S again, just make a keyframe there and have a look at it now. Okay, so it's getting close to what we want, but it's not perfect because it looks like uh, on frame 48, we don't actually have a perfect sphere there. It still looks a little bit stretched out. So I'll just fix that up a bit. Okay, just remember when you change something on the timeline, press S to make it a keyframe. And you can see that those changes are saved now. All right, that's looking a bit better. It's looking a bit, little bit more like a sphere, but we still, you can see here that it's stretched out for quite a while after it's hit the ground. So we need to actually make that um, a bit more of a, a bit more of a sphere immediately after it's hit the ground. What it might help to do is press space and to go into front view and look at it from this view. Um, so we'll just drag that timeline backwards and forwards. And yeah, that bit there just doesn't look right. Okay. We can also easily compare the two frames here. So if we look at frame 48 and we look at frame one, they're still a little bit different. So frame one on the grid is, it's taking up these four squares here on the grid. All right, so the sphere is fitting in there pretty perfectly. So if we go to frame 48, we can now um, use a scale tool to make that the same or roughly the same. So just trying to fit that in there. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. All right, press S to make a keyframe. And now, yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, so I think we'll go to maybe around about frame 40, uh, or maybe even a little bit earlier. Maybe around about frame 32, 33. And we can scale this back to close to being a proper sphere again and press S to make a keyframe. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better now. So it's falling from the ground. Once it hits the ground, it starts to stretch out and flatten. And then once it leaves the ground, it's going back to being a proper sphere and then it goes back to its original position. Okay, so that's kind of what we want. What we can do now is just, we'll just deselect the um, object. And on the timeline here, we can press the play button to play it and it will just loop. Okay, so there's still a lot more work that we could do there just to um, perfect it and also change the way, um, change the animation up the top here so that it stays up there for a little bit and then falls back down rather than just coming back down immediately. But that does look pretty good for um, just a few minutes of animating. So 
we can uh, go into the perspective view as well. See that in the perspective view. And there we go. So that's a basic uh, animation using keyframe animation. It only takes a few minutes to achieve that just by adding keyframes on the timeline and modifying the object. So modifying its properties like its location, size. Um, yeah, that's basically it. In the next tutorial, we'll look at how to change the color, the material, um, the lights and the rendering of shape. And um, yeah, so hang around, watch the next tutorial and thanks for watching.